Hello, this is Augustine, and today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the support of independent chart scaling in the latest provider version 1.18.0 of MongoDB Atlas. So for this example, I have two configurations defined, an advanced cluster and then a cloud backup schedule associated to this cluster. What we will do is see how we can configure independent uh, scaled shards in this advanced cluster configuration and then also do a walkthrough of how we can resolve the deprecation messages that we are encountering in this latest version. So to start off we can run a Terraform plan that will show us uh, that the config is currently in sync but we have two deprecation messages. The first one is related to num shards uh, which we can see here. So currently this, con this configuration defines a sharded cluster that has only one zone defined by a replication spec. And then it, this zone has two shards uh, using the num shards attribute that we already know. As of version 1.18, uh, replication specs now supports defining each individual shard with its own replication spec element and therefore allowing to define specific configurations for each individual shard. So we will now proceed to do this change by essentially removing the num shards attribute, but then to preserve the same configuration of having two shards, we will have two replication specs. So this would be the first shard, and then we would have the second shard defined here. So now if we run a Terraform plan, we will see that there will be a change in state because essentially a new replication spec element will be added. And then for the first replication spec, we have removed the num shards attribute. Now this change that is being displayed by Terraform essentially will not make any change into our underlying cluster uh, definition as essentially this is representing the same cluster definition that we had before. So we'll now proceed to apply this change. Okay, so now we can see that after uh, one minute, uh, Terraform has already applied our configuration successfully. And if we now run a Terraform plan, we should not see any deprecation messages associated to our, our advanced cluster resource. And now the deprecation messages that we are seeing are associated to the use of the cloud backup schedule. So the important aspect uh, related to cloud backup schedule is that within copy settings, um, before 1.18, replication spec ID was used to identify each zone of a sharded or geo sharded cluster. As we can see, uh, now replication specs has changed uh, its meaning, and each replication spec does not necessarily associate to one specific zone. In this case, we do have a sharded cluster, so it's only one zone, but we do have two replication specs associated to this zone. To address this, uh, copy settings now defines a new attribute called zone ID um, that is also available in our replication specs of advanced cluster. So we can essentially look for the computed attribute within replication specs and we can replace, replace replication spec ID directly with the new attribute uh, zone ID. This is important because when we start scaling uh, our shards independently, the replication spec ID uh, is not usable and we have to rely on zone ID. So this change is also uh, very straightforward in terms of Terraform. If we now run a Terraform plan, It will simply mention that we are adding now a new zone ID. 
and if we run out of terraform apply we have a successful apply and if we run a plan we now will not have any deprecation messages associated to our configurations. So the last step now, having our cloud backup schedule without deprecations and using the new computed attribute uh, zone ID in replication specs, we have advanced cluster uh, with each replication spec representing one shard. We can now start scaling each shard independently. For this example, uh, we will look into modifying the first shard, uh, specifically adjusting the instance size. So we can go from an M10 to an M20. And uh, I will note that as of now, uh, instance size can be scaled independently between shards and also disk IOPS uh, when it's uh, provisioned. So we can now go ahead and run a Terraform plan and we will see the change only for our first replication spec element. And we can go with the Terraform apply. This change will take uh, more time as we are now adjusting actual uh, infrastructure in our cluster, uh, modifying the instance size of the first shard. So we now see that after 16 minutes, uh, the Terraform apply was com was finished. And if we now run a Terraform plan, we will face uh, an empty plan with no deprecation message whatsoever. Uh, as a closing note, I'll just remark that if we look into the Terraform state, now that we do have shards scaled independently, uh, you will see that the replication specs do not, does not contain a value for, for ID, so within each replication spec element. So this again uh, reiterates why it is important to rely on the zone ID, uh, which is populated, uh, and not on the replication spec ID, uh, specifically once you transition into independently uh, scaled shards. I will also mention that uh, we do have documentation in the provider registry. Uh, both the 1.IT migration guide provides uh, details into all of the changes, both associated to advanced cluster and the cloud backup schedule resource. And then we have a specific guide that uh, gives a step-by-step -step of what I covered in this example for different type of cluster cluster types. Uh, so this is definitely a good uh, resource to also reference. So thank you for listening.